So I got the I got the valve job and everything done on these. These are just stock Ford medium riser heads. Um, I just did a valve job on them, three angle valve job, and uh, I got two 190 valves in it on the intake side, new ones, uh, Manleys, and uh, in 750, you know, brand new Manley valves on the exhaust. I just wanted to throw it up on this flow bench and just kind of see where it's at. Uh, this flow bench, I haven't even turned it on in probably a uh, long time. It's 15 years. Um, I did have to kind of remember how to use it. Um, we used to use it all the time. But after a while, I kind of, well, I kind of knew what to do to all the heads to get them to flow, you know, a little bit. Um, I just wanted to see what we had here. Um, this is the Superflow 110 flow bench. It's, it's like the starter model flow bench. It's not, they say that, uh, like if you put it on a Superflow 600, the same head, the head on the Superflow 600 is probably going to flow more air than what it flows on here. So I just wanted to just throw it on here, nothing serious, and just kind of get a ballpark of, of where these heads actually are. Um, so I got this. This is opened up to 500, 500 lift right now. <laughs> five inches of vacuum and normally you're supposed to put a bunch of clay and stuff around around the cord I'm just going to use this thing Two percent, a percent of flow, five inches of vacuum. So seventy two percent, seventy one, seventy two, take seventy two over maybe. I haven't done this in a long time. Okay. 71, 72, where are we intersecting? We're at 134. 134 is the number. <clears throat> and you take that number. times 2.37 317 CFM at five that's a lot at 500 lift
Let me just recheck this, make sure I'm... I'm going to tighten all this, all these bolts and stuff up. Got our spark plug in good and tight. All right, we're at zero. That's the problem with these flow benches. It, you want to do check something real quick just to see if you're on the right track. Next thing you know, it's a day later and you've been standing here for eight hours. All right. 100. Two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. The stock Ford head flows 317 CFM at 500 lift. Okay, so we got this stock Ford medium riser head here that I did. Um, all I did was put a three angle valve job on it and blend the bowl area a little bit, get rid of the sharp edges and uh, just a tiny little bit of work underneath the, where the valve guide boss is. Um, I just wanna see what it does here. It's on zero now. I just want to get a kind of a ballpark of what it's what I can expect from it. So we're gonna open it up. Just gonna check it at five hundred thousandths lift. <laughs>
70% at 500 lift. Take one thirty times two point three seven. 308 CFM at 500,000 foot. We'll take it up to 600. Seventy-one percent. That's one thirty-one. One thirty-one times two point three seven. Three hundred and ten CFM at six hundred lift. Seventy two percent at seven hundred lift, too. Twenty one, one thirty three. Three hundred and fifteen CFM at seven hundred lift. That's enough airflow to make 630 horsepower so that's pretty good flowing head so we were 308 at 500 uh, 310 at 600 I'll have to go back and watch them 315 at 700 oh I forgot <laughs>
really change much with that thing on there. You're supposed to do it all up with clay and, and you know, all that stuff. Get you a nice thing around here to check your airflow with. But And this thing, I haven't turned it on. This is the first time I've turned it on in probably 15 or 16 years. And my dad was here when I did it, so... All in all, these, these heads will work just fine. I mean, a set of, uh, you know, our aluminum heads would be, well, I know they'd be at least 25 to 30 CFM more than that all the way through. 315 was the most I got out of it. 315 CFM. That's pretty good flow, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's, this engine should be in the mid 550s to 600 horse. I would imagine. I'm pretty happy with that.